What is up, people? What is up, people? This is Abraham Walker with Ask A Walker, your Northern Virginia real estate agent. And we have another property tour for you all today. This one is by Pulte Homes. And we're in Loudoun County, wrapping up our Loudoun County series. This home is located in South Riding. I think you're going to enjoy the interior of this property here. We have a couple unique things that stand out about this property. A, it has a prep kitchen. Um, B, there's three bedrooms on the upstairs level that all have en suites. So three en suite uh, bedrooms. We also have three car garage uh, in this unit here. We have one of the more interesting kitchen to dining room layouts. There is a breakfast nook or the, when you see the size of it, I don't know if we could say nook anymore for that, that space. There's a sizable office on the main level, two powder rooms on the main level. And you do have a bedroom in the basement here. So this is Pulte Homes Group and uh, well, Pulte Homes. And this is, you're watching Where to Live in Northern Virginia. On our channel, we focus on providing you with new construction tours, relocation content, which is our research-based articles. And then we also talk about things to do in the area. If any of that kind of content speaks speaks to you, right? If that's something you're interested in, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, like this video. It costs you nothing to like the video. Liking the video also helps us out by getting our video in front of people who are also interested in this type of content. And it also encourages us to keep on making these videos. Lastly, comment. Make a comment in the comment section. What is your favorite room in this home here? What's your favorite design room? What layout you like the best? Um, even if you're not into, even if you're not thinking about buying new construction uh, yourself right now, what do you um, what do you think about some of the the choices in some of these spaces? Right? I know a lot of people like the new home tours because you can live vicariously through this whole process and. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. If you're ready to start your real estate journey, there is a link in the description to the perfect home questionnaire. Once you fill out that form, we'll schedule a time to meet online via Zoom to answer any and all of your real estate questions. I love being from the South. I love porches. I love front porches. Ah, give you this sense of just relaxing on your property, right? That's what a front porch kind of means to me. What do you all think? Do you all like front por porches? You like the front porches? All right, let's get inside. Okay, first thing you gotta notice, this is our first single family home that we've we've toured where there's um, like this grand entrance. You have your, your staircase right there going up to the bedroom level. There's only one staircase up, so that is gonna be the primary staircase to the bedroom level. As soon as we walk in, we have a decision to make. We can either go straight into the living space or we can go straight into our dining room. Now this is gonna be the more unique layouts that we've seen where we have the dining room at the front of the property with the kitchen on the opposite side of the dining room. And I could definitely see why they went this route. If you look at how much space, how much space you were able to, or how they were able to configure this space to, to allow you to fit not only some sizable pieces of furniture in this room, but you could also fit a, a large table. I mean, I think you could fit a 12 seater, um, 12 top table uh, in this space. Love these, love these light fixtures. 
That was pretty cool. So we go from the kitchen, I mean, from the dining room, there's like a little, almost like a butler's pantry here. You have a little wet bar. You probably get yourself a similar coffee set up. And then we have some storage right there as well. That's to the left of the front door, right? So we have the front door and then we have the stairs. We have a powder room to our right. And then through this area, we actually have your office, right? So you have a tiered office. I like what they've done with the steps up to the office space. So give it some definition. So that is, this is the space you could use as your office space. We got these handsome horses here, just holding these books together. And you also have like a little sitting space in your office as well. So very cool concept, right? You got that little half wall there to give you even more definition uh, from your, your office space. And then you step down into where you relax, right? So maybe you're holding some meetings. You're holding some meetings at the house. Maybe you have a, a, a business outside that you're running outside of your house. You have your little sitting station here, or maybe you have your assistant with their space in here as well. I love this Eames chair. It's the perfect place for it. And look, you have a powder room right off of the office uh, space. So again, I think that that is a, a cool design. The stairs to the basement are right next to the stairs to the bedroom level, right? So now we're gonna go and walk through to get to the main living area, right? So through that doorway or that hallway there, we can go to the left to go to the garage. To the right, we have our prep kitchen. I'm pretty sure the prep kitchen is an option. So you can definitely do what you want with that space there. And we have ourselves another little working space, a flex space off to the back of this kitchen area where the pantry is also located. Right, so let's work our way from left to right here. Again, we're going from left to right. So now we have the, the, the dining room. So through this hallway here, we have our garage. So that'd be your two car, well, your three car garage. Off of the garage door, you have your mud room. And then you have a sizable coat closet. Look at this, you can step in here. Plenty of, plenty of space for your summer, I mean, your winter coats. Right. Then continue through this hallway off of the garage. We have our powder room right there. And we have, the way they have the stage is there's the prep kitchen, right? So the prep kitchen also includes your washer and dryer. This is our first time seeing a single family home with the washer and dryer on the main level, right? interesting placement there so nice size prep kitchen if you don't want the prep kitchen of course you could do what you want with this space there is a window in this room as well so there's plenty of opportunities for what you could do with the space and that's a closet right there so your imagination is the only thing stopping you from determining what you're going to do with this space and so now we're back into this main living room space so to ensure the quality of our work, the next steps are the quality experience All right. A lovely TV wall here. Great place to put your couch. I like the size of this room here because if you notice, you have some nice oversized pieces of furniture which fit in that make the space actually cozy, given the size. All right. So next we have the, the kitchen. The kitchen has a nice island with a nice lip for your counter height chairs. And in this model here, most likely an upgraded appliance package, 
we have your your stove here with the six burner six burner stove um i like this idea better than the cooktops because with this you get a much larger oven look at the size of this oven see much larger oven than you would get with a wall oven so now with this setup here you have your you have your wall oven which is going to be your conventional size and then you have a much wider oven because it's this this oven is the same width as your six burner and then you have plenty of counter space to prep the food so now we have our we have our dish we have our kitchen sink view so you have the kitchen sink washing dishes you have your refrigerator to your left here you have your you have your microwave and your range i mean your microwave and your oven right underneath so plenty of space between the island and the wall there nice amount of cabinet space the breakfast room breakfast room is right over here so also known as the eat-in kitchen this is probably where you're gonna have most of your meals versus the formal versus the formal dining room space And then off of this space, we have our patio deck area. But before we go and go outside, right after the kitchen, you have your walk-in pantry. Huge walk-in pantry. Great for your Costco runs, Sam's Choice, Sam's Club run, BJ's Warehouse. And this pantry door has, it's a double door pantry door. First time ever seeing that on this channel. And then we have this nice little flex space here. Design this as you may. Nice little homework room, right? And lastly, we have ourselves, we just have some storage over here in this closet here. So that's it with this space. I like the, I like the layout, I like the flow. Yeah, I like, I like this. All right, so now, Let's go take a look on, on the deck here. All right. So this is right off of your main living space. You have that optional fireplace and you have your backyard. All right, so you do have a walk-up basement that we will see towards the end of this tour. Now it is time to go upstairs and check out the bedroom level. So we've checked out all the rooms. Downstairs. Now it's time to go, go upstairs, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. So that's now we're in the bedroom level. So as soon as we get up the stairs, we have your bedroom to the right. We have a guest bedroom. This is the only guest bedroom that doesn't have its own bath. We have the bathroom, full bath right outside. This has a shower, linen closet. Then we have the owner's suite down this almost like a catwalk here. We have three bedrooms that all have their own bathrooms and we have some flex space right around this wall here. Right. This has a nice little view of our space here. All right, let's go take a look at this first bedroom. So this is guest bedroom number one. We have a full-size bed, or what appears to be a full-size bed. Two nightstands. We do have a walk-in closet right over there 
towards the left hand side of the bedroom. This room is off to the front of the property. So you can see that. So again, another nice size closet. And look, plenty of space in here for all types of furniture, a desk, there's the, you can fit a lot in this, this space. Pulte Home has done a great job with the, um, the space that they've allotted for the guest bedrooms in here. And so then you have yourself your nice little vanity in here. And now we'll go and check out the owner's suite. All right, so we move through the doorway and we have ourselves a couple options. So we have walk-in closet, bedroom, bathroom, walk-in closet. Both walk-in closets are large enough to have tons of tons of clothing in here. Echo, echo. What's nice about this space is, as you can see, it's a king size bed, two vanities, I mean, two nightstands, and we still have enough space over there for a sofa, a Peloton, or what have you in this room. And we have ourselves a nice furniture wall here, put a TV up there or a mirror. Plenty of space, look at the distance. Look at the length of that wall there. And we're off to the back of the property. Now we're gonna go take a look at the shower. I mean, the owner's bath. You'll see why I said shower because of the size of this shower here. Look at this space, cabinet space. You have your linen closet inside of the bathroom and you have your toilet closet. All right. Now we're gonna go check out those three other guest bedrooms along with that flex space. This is that flex space I was telling you that's right behind the wall off the stairs here. Could this be enclosed and you could add another bedroom up here? You could. You could. You could. So it's definitely going to be something that's up to your liking. Do you like the flex space? Do you prefer the open space? I love this couch here. All right, so now we're gonna go into, there's guest bedroom number two, three, and then four right over here. All right, so guest bedroom number two is to our left when we go into the hallway. Now this room does have its own walk-in closet right there. And as you can see, big enough for two twin size beds and a sizable bookshelf. And then you still have a little bit of space on both sides. So nice size, nice size room. This room is off to the side of the property. Yeah. Like I mentioned, you do have your own. It has an ensuite here with a tub. Love that they're including tubs in these en suites. Not to say I'm not a walk-in shower person, but if you have kiddos, showers may not be something that they are accustomed to just yet. So it's much easier just to run a bath. All right, this is a nice light. I like this lamp. I saw it early when I did my walkthrough. 
good. So this is the room. This is off to the back side of the property. So we have ourselves that full bath. We have a walk-in closet. Again, another nice, nice size room. Like I mentioned earlier, Pulte has done a great job with the size of these rooms. All right, we have one more. We have one more room. There's, a, there's two steps into this room, so the ceiling height is a little bit lower. And we have ourselves another, this room is wide, um, or really long, so it's a little narrow. Uh, you can kind of tell based on like the position of the bed. It's still a nice size space because you have the desk here, and you have a little end table there. So this is the third ensuite up in this space so we have the owner's suite and then we have two guest bedrooms i mean three guest bedrooms that have their own bath this one this bedroom has a shower uh, in it and another walk-in closet now it's time to go to the the basement So the basement stairs are right by the front door and in between the office space, right? So the office space, your foyer area, and you have your basement stairs. All right. As soon as we walk through the basement, I mean, as soon as we get down to the basement landing area, there is some storage to our left through this door here that kind of wraps around, exit over here on the other side of this wall. And then we also have our wet bar here. We have some flex space throughout this area. And we have a, a rather small bedroom over here. So it's nice that you have five bedrooms on the main level and then you can decide what you want to do with this smaller bedroom space there is a bathroom over there as well full bath and we have some more storage spaces but this is your utility room maybe we have our storage underneath the stairs right so working our way from left to right here so you could, you could definitely enclose this space i could see this being a media room right so just imagine there is a wall right there, and then you have your your TV, your, your flat screen or your uh, projector projecting against that wall, and then you have your seat facing this way here. So then you would just you come through that door right by the stairs, set up. You have a little popcorn station over here in the corner here, and then you would set up and have yourself. Um, your TV station and then this right here this room would actually be walled off so you would just have some additional um, storage space right and then when we come out of here we're on the other side by the ping pong table is this not one of the sexiest ping pong tables you've ever seen look at this does it look practical not really it looks stylish though this is the brand though shoe love interesting this door right here is those walk up, the walk up part of the basement. And and we have ourselves again, this flex space here. So I think the important thing down here is just to notice that there is running water here for your wet bar. last part of our tour is going to be like I mentioned this small bedroom right? one of the smallest rooms in this whole property but it does give you the opportunity to have a six bedroom and you have a closet right over there as well and like I mentioned there is a bathroom over here 
do have a bathroom with a tub. So that's it. That's it for this tour. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, there's a there's a link in the description to the perfect home questionnaire. Fill out that form and we can schedule a time to meet via Zoom to answer any and all of your real estate questions. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Let me know in the comment section which room you liked the most, which one, which room you thought was the best decorated, best designed. Let me know if you're stealing any of these ideas. And like the video, like the video, cost you nothing. It'll help us get this video out to more people and also give us a little bit more motivation to make these uh, videos. If you haven't done it already, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.